Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm doing something really exciting and really different today. I am going gothic. Yes, I'm going to do a gothic makeup look. I have never done a gothic makeup look. Let me tell you why I'm doing a gothic makeup look. So, um, my husband is really into heavy metal music and he likes the makeup look of gothic. He likes, he thinks gothic girls are attractive. Okay. Um, obviously he thinks I'm attractive. That's why he married me. But like his, like, I guess dream girl or perfect. I don't know if you say perfect type is a gothic girl. He loves gothic makeup and like the pale skin, the dark makeup, all of that. So I've told him several times, I said, one day I'm going to surprise you. One day I'm going to dress gothic. I'm going to be all in black and I'm going to wear gothic makeup. And he just kind of smiles and laughs. And he's like, even if, if I do surprise him, he said, I'll still be do a dorky person. Um, which I don't take it as an offense when he says dorky, because he's dorky too. And when he says dorky, he means like I'm a goofy, like goofy, sunshiny, person so it's hard for me to really pull off a, go a gothic look um so anyway i'm gonna do this uh mostly doing this to get his reaction um like i said i'm not i think gothic makeup can look really pretty i'm um, actually i mean i can appreciate it even though it's not my personal style or type of makeup i can appreciate it and it i've i've watched a few videos on it so I can, I mean, I watched a few tutorials so I can learn how to do it. Um, so with that being said, obviously I am not a professional. Don't get any tips from me. I'm just going based off what I watched from doing another girl. And I'm not going all out. I'm doing more of a simple gothic makeup look since it is my first time going gothic. Um, yeah. So some of you may like it, some of you may not, but it's my channel and I want to do what I want to do and pre express my creativity the way I want to do it. So my cousin Dana that watches my videos, girl, you will not like this. This is not a natural makeup look. I am not going for a natural makeup look. You probably won't like this. So just letting you know, you probably won't want to watch it. Um, yeah. And if anybody gives me a mean comment, there is the delete button and I will push the delete button and thank God for that. Um, most people are pretty nice and sweet on my channel. Um, but there is usually that one person that will say something. So, it, like I said, if there is a mean comment, there's the delete button. Um, I want to do videos. I was initially scared to do this type of video. Um, just because, you know, this is the internet and people can be mean. And people can be judgmental. I mean, yeah. Um, but I'm going to say something at the end of this video, too, that why you shouldn't judge people, but I know some beautiful people who are into gothic makeup, dark makeup, and they're, they're wonderful people. So don't judge a book by its cover. It may not be a makeup look for you, but, and it's not my everyday look. I can safely say I've never worn black lipstick or before in my life, but I bought black lipstick just for today. So I'm going to try my best to pull off this, um, gothic makeup look. And the reason I'm in the car is because I talk loud. I don't want my husband to hear me. He's sleeping in our bedroom. I'm going to be putting my makeup on in um, my girl's room. So if I talk about what makeup I'm doing, it's going to be a voiceover. Um, just because I talk loud, I don't want him to hear me because it's going to be a surprise. And I mean, you may be able to see his reaction or you may not. But uh, if you can't see it, I'll let you know what he thought. But Anyway, I'm going to transform myself into a gothic girl for today. Give this video a like if um, you're interested. Um, and thank you for being here. And subscribe. I would love to have you here. Okay, let's get on with this. Hey guys, so I am starting out tweezing some hair, extra hairs around that I have around my eyebrow. So I'm getting rid of that first. Once again, I do want to reiterate here, this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. Um, this is my first time trying out dark gothic makeup. So first timer here, I'm just doing a voiceover so I can tell you what I'm doing. Um, so uh, here I have my It Cosmetics uh, eyebrow liner 
And this is something I would normally do on uh, when I'm doing makeup is line, uh, line my eyebrows. And I kind of stretch them out more because my eyebrows don't go too far. So I'm going to go. Um, that's what you see me doing now. I'm lining them and everything. Okay, next I am using this Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner. Y'all, this is like 97 cents at Walmart. Um, it's a great product, and I am filling in my eyebrows and making them black. I noticed as I was watching a lot of gothic tutorials, they did make their eyebrows black and filled them in. So that is what I'm doing now. Um, it is pretty extreme, but it kind of really makes it all look gothic, I think. Um... Yeah, I'm not the best at eyebrows, but I I try, y'all. I try. But this little 97-cent black eyeliner from Wet n Wild is the most used makeup product today. Um, yeah, this is the star of the show here, this product. Um, yeah. And the eyebrow you're seeing right here that I'm doing, this is my good eyebrow. I don't know about y'all, but I have one eyebrow that's really good and got a really good angle. And the other one is not totally related. But that's my good one. if y'all can tell by the faces and happiness in this video but i am really happy to be doing this get ready with me um i mean i love doing get ready with me's but i think it's because i'm doing something so out of my comfort zone and so far so good and i guess because i'm also doing this look to surprise someone In this tart shape tape um, concealer all over my eyelid i'm using this kind of as a primer to help my eyeshadow stay and i'm just dabbing that all over my eyelid space and yeah and i don't care if it gets a little messy or if it's everywhere because um with being a gothic look your skin and stuff is going for pretty fair white skin so it's okay if the concealer is just kind of everywhere Okay, and now I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow uh, with this Profusion blending brush. And I'm really scared to use like black and blue and purple eyeshadows because it can easily look like you've gotten a black eye. But I am going to be using this one that is, it's, it looks black, but it's actually gray. And I was scared to do it, but you live, you learn. Um, so I am going ahead and putting that in the middle of my crease and dabbing that on both eyes just to check it out and I was actually really surprised and pleased with how it blended out and it wasn't anything too crazy so I definitely if I not just gothic looks but if I wanted just a dark smoky look I definitely would use this color again um, this elf palette is from Walmart and yeah it's a really good palette so this went much better than I thought it did
once again using this wet and wild black eyeliner on my waterline this is also something i would do for an everyday look if you've noticed how i do my makeup i do like to put black eyeliner here because i feel like it makes my hazel eyes pop um now i will say that i got the idea to put i went a little i was trying different things and i was trying to put the black eyeliner on as top liner too but i believe that that was ended up being a mistake so i kind of wish in the end i didn't put top eyeliner and i'm trying something with my inner cor corner here too that i've seen another girl do but it just didn't work on me i was trying to make more of a pointed eye look so yeah i'm gonna have to work more to get to achieve that look but I'm not going to be too hard on myself because this is my first time doing this kind of dramatic makeup and you know like that's something I've learned with makeup don't be too hard on yourself and I used to be feel that oh no if I messed up on one thing then the whole makeup is ruined and I would go and wash my face and just feel terrible about myself but just because something isn't going right doesn't mean you have to give up um that's just something I've learned with makeup, just um, seeing I'm trying to do wings and all that. And I ended up taking all that off with a um, cotton swab. Cotton swabs, girls are a girl's best friend. They can remove, um, you know, stuff that little mistakes or stuff that you don't want, you know, or little errors or little boo-boos. But I just wanted to say that, like, don't don't give up if, if just something happened and it's just like, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Like, you can still keep going with your look. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I still want to do more gothic looks in the future um, and just try different things. It's the part right here that I'm looking back. I wish I wouldn't have put any liner on my top lid. Um, just because it wasn't a smooth line and... Um, yeah, I wish I would have just left it, just left the gray shadow alone, just left it just shadow. Um, but anyway, like I said, you live, you learn. I also decided to use that same gray eyeshadow and put it down here under my eye, which was okay. I mean, it would have been okay without it too, but sometimes you just decide to do things in the moment, um, and I got a little too much, but you kind of have to be careful here because uh, what, sometimes when trying to do a gothic look, I think it can easily turn out looking like a punk look. I just know that punk looks use a lot of eyeliner on the bottom. And I'm sorry, my nose and everything itches. Um, so, yeah, like, because sometimes I'll show my husband, I'm like, look, that girl's got gothic makeup. That's nice. And he's like, no, Tiffany, that's punk makeup. So, I think it can be, if you're not used to it, it can you can easily get it mixed up.
Okay, and now I'm using foundation. I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me in Ivory. Um, I love this foundation. It's a great foundation, one of the best. But the thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a pump, um, which would have made this easier. But anywho, ended up um, putting this um, foundation. And, you know, I'm wanting a very pale look. One thing I also noticed after watching a lot of gothic uh, tutorials is they don't use blush or not that any that I've seen when people wear blush they're wanting to look their cheeks to look rosy and like more alive but in a gothic look you're wanting something more of the opposite I wanted to do a contour, contour, some more of a chiseled look for my cheekbones. So I didn't want to go back into my room and get into my makeup and have the chance of my husband seeing me. So I'm going back into this e.l.f. palette and using one of the eyeshadow shades. And just using that as contour and using my finger and a brush to blend it out. I wanted to try two different lip colors here for y'all. This one is a NYX Butter Gloss, and it's a very pretty, like, I don't even know what you call it, burgundy, just a deep, I don't know, somebody's got the right word. Um, pretty color, and it looks like a color a gothic girl would wear. Um, so yeah, um, I like it, but I think it would have been better if it was matte. It would have made more of a statement, and after I put this on, it still looked a little too light. So you'll see me mixing it with a Kylie Jenner, um, Kylie Jenner matte lipstick, um, just to see how those two colors work together. is how that red reddish that lip this lip color looks mixed together let me know if you prefer this one or the black lipstick that i'm gonna do i actually have to say i prefer the black which i'm surprised to say <laughs> say this jewelry set right here from walmart is what inspired me to do this whole look and video i was going through my jewelry and saw this i actually bought this last year and um yeah so i was like you know what i'm gonna do this put this on and do the gothic look and i really love this choker and these bat earrings i think they're adorable and i'm so glad i decided to keep it
Guys, I went out and bought this black lipstick. It is LA Colors. It is called Cray. I guess that's short for crazy. And um, I really love it. I can't believe how much I like black, li black lipstick. I'm really surprised at myself. Um, and But let me tell you, LA Colors used to be 99 cents and very affordable. That lipstick was like $2.75 at the dollar store. So it's very... Man, prices have gone up on everything. And right here I am, once again, using this Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner to line my lips, to prep my lips for the black lipstick. Okay, guys, here's the final look of my gothic look. I'm very pleased and happy with it. Um, keep watching to see my husband's reaction. Um, this was a lot of fun, I have to admit. This is probably one of my favorite videos. Okay, can I just say for the record, um, I, I can't believe this. This is like an alter ego thing, but uh, yeah, I like this. I don't think, I don't know if this will be an everyday look, but this turned out much better than I thought it would. Not that I really had a plan of how it would turn out, but I think he will like this. I think he better like this. I went to a lot of trouble. He better not say I'm dorky. I'm trying my best to look like a girl that doesn't put up with crap. Now I just gotta wait for him to wake up. Story of my life. Really love the choker. I initially was gonna buy, bought this for a friend and was gonna send it to her, but I'm glad I kept it. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Let's wait. Just wait for him to wake up. Don't look until I tell you. Keep your hand over your eyes. I can't see. Put your hand over your eyes. Oh, well, I can't see, see. Okay, I'm going to try not to laugh. Okay, now you can look. I'm gothic for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> try not to laugh. How do you like it? I'm asleep. Do I look, do I look gothic? Kind of. Not dorky? No. Not it's dorky. dorky. <laughs> do you look dorky? I did it for you. Black. Yeah. Well, I had a red lipstick on before, and I didn't know if you preferred black or red. What do you think? It looks funny. Funny? That's not... I'm not going for funny here. But you get a funny looks. What? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious, like a gothic girl. Well, who are you? This is your surprise. Okay. It's funny. Funny? Yeah. On a scale from one to ten, how do you like it? Like seven. ten being the best. Seven. So it's a seven? That's good. That's better than five. Mm -hmm. Is this what you thought the surprise was? No. It's a good surprise. <laughs> okay. I'll send you pictures later so you can have pictures of me looking gothic on your phone, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye.